Hello guys. So a lot of people ask me, especially who are beginners, that how to get traffic on your website. You create your website, your website might appear on Google, but not coming on the first page. And that's why you're not having so much traffic on your website. So what we need to do is ideally your website should rank on the first page of Google or you should try to it should rank higher in the search engine rankings. So in this video, I give you five practical tips that how you can rank on the first page of Google. There will be no magic tricks in this video, but there will be pure knowledge that how you can work towards making your website rank on the first page of Google. Okay, let's start with the first tip. So first tip would be the topic should be low competition topic. So and what is your blog about should be low competitive. How you can do this? You need to do some keyword research. You can do keyword research with a lot of free tools available. For example, you can use Google's Keyword Planner. It's a free tool which analyzes search data for potential keywords. You can see in which keywords the lot of traffic exists but less competition. You can check Google Trends for the popularity of the topics. For example, if you want to create a video about a topic which already dead two years ago, please don't make video on the topic. You can explore Reddit and Quora for finding the community inside and the common question that people are asking. So for example, if on Reddit, you can just go on Reddit and you can see what people are talking about and then you can join the communities and then you can find out what people are talking about. For example, you can see the communities are here, the different communities. We just click on see more, you'll find so many other communities or what you can do, just scroll the page here and then you can find here communities and you'll find all the communities exist on Reddit. For example, you go to space community, you can see that 28 million members exist here. A lot of people are talking about different things. So here you can find the ideas about your blog, about the keywords, what people are talking about, what people want to listen. Just don't seek advice from a YouTuber like me that what you should write about. Go to real communities like Reddit or Quora and from here you can find what people are talking about. They both are real nice and once for example you're in space and you find a topic, go to Google Keyword Planner. And then from left side, I go to tools and then from here, click on keyword planner. And then you can get all the required data to validate your findings. For example, if you click on discount new keyword and you want to search about organic farming or anything you want, you can just edit here. Make sure you choose the language in which language you want to write the article. For example, I will choose English and then country. You can choose the country whichever you want. For example, let's say I say India and then I say America. So I'm targeting both the countries here. I did both of them and I click on save and then I click on get results. And from here you can see how many people are talking about these things and you can see the related keyword ideas are here too. Also given by Google keyword tool. It's a really nice tool and all these tools are free to validate well keyword research. And this is how you find a low competition keyword category. The second tip would be on page SEO optimization. Guys, it is really, really important that we do on page SEO optimization. A lot of people think this is very complicated, but actually it is not complicated at all. It is very easy process. What you need to do is for beginners, you need to aim for minimum 1000 to 1200 words for every article or every blog post you're writing. Write yourself, take help of AI. I already created videos about it, how you can do that. So that is really important. Second thing would be internal linking, enhance site navigation authority. Guys, it's really important you connect the pages inside your website. That's why I say please focus on only one niche. If you create multi niche website when you're a beginner, it will be complicated to connect the articles. But if you have one niche, clear niche, you can easily connect articles on your website. So please do that. Internal linking is really important. Meta description and titles. So titles are really important. Please try to write some nice titles. Do not use boring titles. You can take help of chat GPT to create the interesting titles and also meta description should be really really good with summarized page content for search results like what is this page about what are you explain in the page i have complete video about meta titles meta description please pause that video link in description so just try to work a little bit on on-page optimization it is not very complicated start with these four points i explained you content length internal linking meta description and titles once you do this you will see automatically your website ranking will improve on search engine the next point would be backlinks and authority guys it is really important to create backlinks and everybody asks how we can create backlinks it is really hard to create backlinks. But yes, guys, if you're a beginner, you can use free tools. You can go to forums, which are free forums. You can create your profile there and then you can participate in the conversation there. And on your profile, you can add the link to your website. Same time, you can do guest posting. A video is coming with you in the guest posting. Or you can join free social media network, for example, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Quora, Reddit. You can just create a profile and please add link of your website. And there's so many other social networks exist where you can create free profile and you can create backlinks to your website. 
If you want the list of backlinks, please check the description of this video. I'll add the free social media networks and forums and where you can write the blog post and where you can write the guest post on different website to get backlinks. Just remember one thing, please add the backlinks on the relevant site. For example, if your website is about food, please create a profile on food related website. Do not create a website on pharmaceutical related website or real estate website. That backlink will be of low quality and it will not help you to gain SEO rankings. Next point will be user intent and engagement. So basically target is to keep them on site. How you can do that? A lot of people ask how we can keep people on the site and it is really easy. Let me show you how you can do that. First thing is to add a clear table of contents which helps user to jump what they need. You can use plugin like table of contents in WordPress to create the table of content which, which will save the time of user and they are happy about the content. Second thing use engaging media, images, GIFs, short videos to, to keep people engaged. Please add all those things. Do not use the low quality AI generated images which has spelling mistake, the content is overlapping on each other. Do not use those kind of low value images. Go to website like pixels.com. They provide free of cost, very high quality images you can use on website free of cost. You do not even need to give the credit. Depend on the image, please check that. But yes, I use this website pixels.com and pixabay to get very high quality images on any topic I want to add on my blog post. The next thing would be breakup paragraph. No big wall of text, guys. What I see a lot of people, for example, you can see here, I give proper spacing between all these points so it is more readable. If I do not give so much spacing between them, I write all these things in one paragraph, it will be very hard to read and you will just leave the video. So please break up the paragraph, no big wall of text. Use short sentence and bullet points. It's really important and a very nice way to engage the reader. Add real example case studies which build trust and increase reading time. Please cross verify the content given by AI ChatGPT. A lot of time it is incorrect information and sometimes it is really easy for anybody to understand that this is wrong information. And if you add that kind of information, it will lose the trust of the readers. Use exit intent pop up or comment trigger. Ask a question at the end of the post to increase interaction. Or you can write like read more and you can write a related blog post or you can add the social media links to your different pages after the blog post ends. This is really important. If you're a beginner, just do this five, six points and then you will see the difference. The last point would be technical SEO and speed. Guys, it is really important that your website should load under 2 seconds. Ensure fast loading for better user experience and mobile friendly design. It should have optimal viewing on mobile devices. You can use a tool like PageSpeed Insight by Google. You can enter website URL and you can analyze the website. And you will see what is the issue with the website. And you can see the suggestion given by Google PageSpeed Insight. How much your website is ranking. How you can improve the website loading speed. You can see here FCP is loading 2.4 seconds. And you can see LCP is loading 8.7 seconds. If I go... If I scroll down, if I click here, you can see this is the issue with this image or this part. I create so many videos on this channel, how you can improve all these things, how you can have better speed of website. That's really important. And also website should be mobile responsive, guys. It's really important website, mobile responsive. If you're on desktop, you can right click and you can click on inspect on any browser and you'll find this mobile icon, responsive design, and you can use it here and dock on to the right. Now you can see how website looks like on a mobile device. It's really important. For example, you can see there's a big space here. It is not a good sign. I should remove this space from my website. So it looks proper on mobile devices. It is really important. You can see again, I am repeating this mistake. So you should not have these kind of mistake on website. You can see buttons overlapping here. You should not have these kind of things on your website. So this was the advice of beginners how to rank on the first page on Google. Links related video will be in description of this video. Don't forget to check those links. If you're the first time you're on the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I get so many important videos to help your website and blog. And if you already subscribed, don't forget to like the video and please share this video with somebody who is struggling to get website on the rank one. And now if you want to learn how to write a quality blog post, please check this video on the screen.